the year was 2004. My name is Matthew Dorman, and this is my experience in my ninth grade classroom at Norfolk Christian High School. All the way through lower school and middle school, the classroom was just a place for me to sit down and listen to a lecture. It was not fun, and it was not educational. I say that because I feel like I never learned anything. All through lower school and middle school, I remember school being this boring place where information was supposed to be put into my mind, but I feel like I never received any. Mrs. Graves' classroom is the first classroom I feel I really learned something in. The second you walked through her door, she would greet you and start talking with you. She talked with everyone. She would talk about the class curriculum, but the way she presented the material and the way she discussed it with you as if you were her equal, it really made you feel involved. Like most people, if something doesn't interest me or excite me, I don't feel very motivated to do my best or really apply myself. And this was especially true with school. The second I would go home, I would start playing my video games, not doing homework. And the second I'd wake up in the morning and go to school, I would wish I was home playing my video games. But this wasn't true in Mrs. Graves' class. I would walk into the classroom and immediately feel involved. Her classroom was my high school sanctuary. Not only was I learning about the curriculum, To Kill a Mockingbird, Edgar Allan Poe, some of the other stories that we were talking about that semester, but I also learned what it meant to be a good teacher. I learned what it meant to connect with people and to learn about something not only through the eyes of your teacher, but through the eyes of your students. Andrew Pierce. For the whole semester. As I said, I attended a Christian high school. Mrs. Graves and her husband were also Christians, and they felt that they were being called to perform missionary work in China. Unfortunately, they couldn't stay until the end of the semester, and they left halfway through. When the replacement teacher came in to take the spot from Mrs. Graves, the drastic change was evident. By looking at my grades, you could tell that I didn't feel as comfortable in the classroom as I did with Mrs. Graves. You could also tell that many of the other students were not performing at the level that they were when Mrs. Graves was teaching. This is because we were used to the conversational discussion that was happening within the classroom with Mrs. Graves, but this new teacher brought us back to listening to a lecture and copying notes off the board. By comparing Mrs. Grace with her replacement, I not only learned the curriculum for the class, but I also learned something about myself. I learned how I learn within the classroom. Mrs. Graves taught me that I can learn through discussion and interacting with other people. When the replacement came in, and took her spot as our teacher for the rest of the semester, I realized that taking notes and listening to these lectures was not for me. I was more of a conversationalist and an auditory learner, but looking at notes on the board and reading the textbook just was not for me. So, thank you Mrs. Graves for being the teacher that stays in my heart and inspires me to do the best that I can today. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't know what kind of teacher I want to be. I want to be able to walk into the classroom and know that my students are happy to see me. Not only because they like me, but also because they learn something new every day. By following the example you set for me, I know that I will be able to, to keep my students active and involved inside and outside of the classroom. Thanks to you, I will never forget to treat my students with respect and I will never stop pushing them into their future.